AI begins with humans. AI just simply doesn't have the common sense, right? It, it is a machine that learns from humans. CrowdRaisin's clients, um, you know, as, as an example, we have telecommunication companies, we have pipeline companies, oil and gas companies, these companies that uh, have assets all over the United States or even in parts of Canada. And so property tax documents that come from many tax jurisdictions come in many different shapes and forms. Those are really what creates the problem for, for our clients is that they need to be able to interpret all that data very quickly. The advantages of working with a company like iMerit is that it really provides us the human intelligence at scale that we need. Humans have better intuition about uh, the question sometimes, and so they're able to take a broader context, a different context, and interpret that answer in a way that uh, a computer that hasn't seen that before or hasn't been trained cannot do. We call it human in the loop, and so a human makes the judgment. We get a lot of judgments and then we're able to train our computer algorithms with those judgments. Then that makes your machine learning algorithms that much easier to develop. So I think we've been successful because we started with 100% kind of human intelligence uh, to begin with. And then we slowly begin to bring in the AI algorithms to begin to piece off some of that uh, easier, lower hanging fruit questions. And ultimately, um, will be able to get somewhere around 60% in AI. Data security is very important because it's important to our clients. Our clients want to make sure that they're not providing their data to anybody out there. They want to make sure that it's in really a closed environment. So iMerit uses our applications in which we control and they're worked by iMerit employees, which are ISO certified. They're, they're quick learners, and so they're able to, to answer very quickly. There is such a kind of a, a small turnover in the teams that we don't have to re, retrain them every time. You need a kind of a both robotic process automation, you need human uh, intelligence, and you need AI. Together, all three of those really can solve many of the problems out there.